Hey guys, welcome to an unboxing that is out of necessity going to be fairly quick. I'm trying to get this fan on a heatsink so that I can test the Thermalrite Silver Arrow with an alternate fan configuration uh, now before I take it off the CPU and swap it out for something else. So I've already talked a fair bit about Noctua's NF-A14, which is a square frame 140 millimeter fan, ideal for radiators and case fan and sort of all kinds of different applications. This guy's got 140 millimeter holes on a 140 millimeter frame. It's pressure optimized, so it's good for all those applications. This is the F12, which is very similar, except see that cool stuff going on there? It is a focused flow fan, so it's ideal for spot cooling, it's ideal for radiators, heat sinks, anything that requires a 120mm fan with 120mm mounting holes. This guy right here is a 140mm frame with 150mm width, however it's still 140mm blades, and 120mm mounting holes, which makes it ideal for mounting on coolers like this, where you could benefit, see this is, there's one already on here, which makes, means you can benefit from the larger blades, see in there, you can see the blades are like all the way the entire width of the entire heatsink now, but mounts with 120 millimeter holes. So check this out, guys. Ideal for 140 millimeter CPU coolers. Tons of technology. They're flow acceleration channels, AAO frames, stepped inlet design, inner surface microstructures, integrated anti-vibration pads, custom designed PWM IC with SCD. Basically, these are the most over-designed fans you can get yeah, pretty much. So there's like flow acceleration channels, which increase efficiency. Um, and the increase in speed achieved through the flow leads to significantly reduced flow separation, which permits lower vortex noise and higher airflow efficiency. These guys are all about having quiet operating products. SSO2 bearing, extremely high quality bearing, completely sealed, so it's not going to get dust and junk in it over time. Also comes with a six-year warranty, and the stepped inlet design is actually on the edge of the fans here. I'll just show it to you on one of the other fans. You see the stepped inlets here has something to do with breaking up the flow that comes in making it quieter and more efficient there's golf ball like dimples in here that just generally make the fan more better i've been a huge knock to a fan ha 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 uh, for a long time now this guy right here spins at 1200 rpm or 900 rpm with the included low noise adapter uh, it's going to be so quiet at 1200 rpm i don't see much point quieting it down but i mean it still performs very well uh, with the low noise adapter, you can see there's a significant drop in static pressure. So if you are using it in a heatsink application, you may want to use it that way. It succeeds the award-winning NFP14, which is the NFP12 140mm version. So this is even better than that guy and incorporates a lot of the technology that we saw introduced with the NFF12, which was like a huge step forward in fan design, even for Noctua. Round 140, yeah, flow acceleration channel, AAO frame. Aha, advanced acoustic optimization frames feature integrated anti-vibration pads as well as Noctua's. That's the stepped inlet. So this is just branding for multiple things that we've already talked about before. The inner surface microstructures, those little things I showed you before in there, uh, are to reduce the blade passing noise and improve air flowing pressure efficiency. And the improved anti-vibration pads, I'll show you n in a minute here. High-end PWM circuitry is, circuitry is very important. It makes it more compatible with third-party coolers. Also reduces the amount of just sort of random IC noise that it makes. And uh, yeah, it's just generally better. The fan itself comes with an extension cable, which you'll see you'll, you may need in a moment because it comes with a very short cable. Comes with a Y splitter. Okay, well that's handy. So single four pin PWM to dual four pin PWM. Okay. Neaty, neaty, neat, 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 neato. Oh yeah, uh, low speed adapter, low noise adapter, and low speed adapter. It does both things. Mounting screws, although you probably won't want to use those because it comes with rubber noise isolating vi anti-vibration mounts. So check this out. This is a very unique looking fan. Sorry, <laughs> use the camera to get the fan out. So check this out. It looks looks kind of bizarre, right? See, it's got those those. Uh, these are the rubber anti-vibration mounts that are integrated. These are the 120 millimeter mounting holes on a 140 millimeter by 150 millimeter frame. Very very strange looking design, but you can see why. This is why I wanted to have one of them mounted already before I even started doing the unboxing, because you can see here that if we mounted it this way, see that these pieces wouldn't get to touch the heatsink, so you wouldn't get to take advantage of any of the anti-vibration. If you use the fans that were included with this cooler, which you can see have a very similar design with the 120mm holes and the 140mm blades, 
you again don't get to leverage any anti-vibration anything because there's no room on a frame this size to build that in. So that is why Noctua did this. So that they could put the fan in like this. See that? Where you get rubber to metal so that you don't have any sort of, well, vibration. I know I've said that word a lot in the last little bit. No innuendo intended. Uh, so you don't get any vibration being passed, but you get to take advantage of the 140 millimeter blades that can be mounted on 120 millimeter devices. Now, something like this, useless for radiators. Don't do it because it'll leak around the edges. It's kind of like uh, Corsair's new SP fans, which are, they generate good static pressure and all that, and that's all good, but they leak around the edges of radiators. So there are better solutions such as the NFF 12s and uh, yeah. P12s even. So there's the acceleration notches. There's the stepped inlet. There's the golf ball dimples. Very high tech stuff. These guys put they're they're like kind they're kind of obsessive. They're one of those companies that takes something that sort of no one else really cares that much about and just kind of obsess over it. Like uh, who would I, who would I even compare them to? Like someone like. Um, Yeah, there's not really that many guys guys like this. They've really built their brand on building fans that are ugly but they work. It's like that uh, it's like that cough medicine. It tastes awful but it works. So there you go. Thank you for checking out my unboxing and first look at the NF A15 PWM fan from Noctua. It is ideal for heat sink applications. Don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips for more unboxings, reviews, and other computer videos.